Hello everyone, welcome to Sheet Metric. In today's tutorial, we will learn to track mutual funds, NAV, or historical returns, etc. in Google Sheet in an automated way. I will demonstrate three methods for tracking mutual funds, NAV in Google Sheet. First will be through Google Finance function. Second will be through AMFI website, which is Association of Mutual Funds of India website. And third will be through Money Control website. Each of these methods have their own pros and cons. So I suggest you to go through all of these three and you need to pick the one which suits your need the best or you can develop your customized solution based on your requirement uh, through any of these methods. The first method is Google Finance uh, method. So Google Finance is a default function in Google Sheets. So to use Google Finance, you need to type equal to Google Finance and same function had been being used uh, to fetch a stock prices as well, which we have covered in detail in our previous videos. To use this, uh, the parameters of Google Finance function is ticker. So ticker means you need to give the code of the mutual fund, uh, which uh, will be used to get it attributes. And uh, Google Finance lists down uh, 19 total attributes for mutual funds, which can be fetched through Google Finance function, which is available on support documentation page of Google Finance function. I will give you the list in the description as well, or we can uh, directly see from here. So close yesterday, date, return, year till date, net asset change, change percentage, etc. So I've listed uh, down uh, all these 19 attributes over here. And we will use this to pass it in Google Finance uh, function. To use Google Finance function, the first thing uh, I need to do is I need to give uh, the value of ticker. Means I need to give the code of SBI equity hybrid fund regular growth. So to get the code for this mutual fund, you have to go to finance.google.com and you need to type this SBI equity hybrid fund regular growth. So I'm copying it and then I'm typing it over here. Whatever you are getting in uh, the search box now, so that is the code you need to use. So either you can use this or you can see it over here on home. Uh, you have got SBI underscore equity hybrid underscore VU. You can use this with MUTF underscore IN colon uh, or you can directly copy uh, this code from the search bar over here. So that is the code. Similarly, for HDFC Midcap Opportunity Fund Growth, I am typing it here it in the search box and then I am copying it. This. this is a third fund, which is Vanguard 500 Index Fund. So I had already copied the code of this. So this fund is based in US. However, these first two fund is based out of India. I will also tell you the reason why I have selected one US based fund over here. Also, one thing to note over here is uh, this is MUTF means mutual fund under, underscore I in India colon. Then there is a space. You need to delete this space. Deleting it. Now I can use my Google Finance function. So equal to Google Finance and then uh, ticker would be this code and attribute. Let's say I want to go know the previous day closing price. So I can write close yes. So it has given me yesterday's closing price means a nav of uh, yesterday. Or uh, for HDFC mid cap, uh, what I can do is uh, I can directly reference it or uh, I can directly hard code this as well over here as well. That will also work. And uh, attribute it is close. Yeah, uh, this space is needs to be deleted. Yeah, so this is nav of HDFC mid cap. Uh, similarly, for uh, Vanguard 500 index fund equal to Google Finance. So this is US based uh, funds. So the, uh, the currency of this would be uh, in US dollar uh, while uh, currency of these two are in INR. So now uh, what I will do is I have listed down all these attributes. Uh, so I will write a single formula and I will do proper locking of the, the sales uh, so that I can uh, drag all this formula uh, towards right as well as uh, towards down for this. It will be lock over here. Yeah. Now I am dragging it down. Control D. So here you can see for India based fund, uh, what attributes we got is we got only closing yesterday means yesterday's nav date and change and change percentage. The rest has been returned as NA. However, for US based fund, uh, we have uh, most of the values except uh, capital gain. So this is one of the limitation as on date when I'm recording this video that for India based mutual fund, only these four values are being fetched from the Google finance function. The rest is not working. However, for uh, US based fund, all these uh, attributes are working perfectly fine. So this is one method. Uh, now let's go to the second and third methods uh, where we will try to get uh, some of these values which has been uh, returned in a through those methods. 
well if you are liking our content uh, till time then please like this video comment on this video and subscribe to the channel because this will mean a lot to us and it will also help the video to reach to the right audience through youtube algorithm for second method let's go to the association of mutual funds in india website and here we need to go to the latest nav and then go to the nav download download complete nav report in text format so now you have nav of most of the schemes like all aditya bidla sun life mutual fund access mutual fund bajaj uh, finserve mutual fund uh, so we have like lot of mutual fund a scheme listed over here in txt format so now what we will do is we will try to fetch this data in google sheet here also in the data structure uh, you can see uh, most of these values are separated with a semicolon like here so uh, this is the scheme code then uh, isin then dividend payout etc and uh, this is being uh, separated with a semicolon here is the scheme name this is uh, last is the net asset value uh, which is over here and then this is the date on which it so i am copying this url and i would be using import data formula so import data uh, imports uh, data from a url in uh, .csv or .csv format so since uh, url is just string i need to pass it in double quotes and then delimiter so the delimiter here had been semicolon because all these values uh, had been separated with semicolon uh, so that is the delimiter so i am passing delimiter as this and then the third parameter is a uh, local yeah, either you can type the local or you can uh, leave it blank so it will directly fetch from the spreadsheet setting and then i am closing the bracket it took some time uh, but we have uh, most of the mutual funds uh, data available over here so here you can see we have around 16000 uh, total rows means we have total 16 thousand uh, schemes uh, data available we have nav uh, available of uh, all these uh, 16000 uh, schemes and this is the date uh, here it is as taken in number format uh, however we saw it over here this has been 22nd march i am recording this video on 25th march uh, so last working day had been on 22nd march this is the number format of that so you can use this uh, data to make your portfolio tracking where nav will be automated so you will definitely have uh, a scheme code or uh, isin etc available and then you can uh, run a lookup to get the latest nav and you can manage your uh, portfolio or uh, tracking uh, based upon this so, so this is uh, through amfi website third method is through money control website so uh, this is money control slash mutual fund slash fine fund uh, i will give you the link of uh, all these in the video description as well or if you want the template of uh, this uh, tutorial uh, then you need to type your email id in the comment section i will share you the link over so here you can see uh, we have a lot of schemes their crisil ranking asset under management one week return one month return three month return six month year till date one year two year five year 10 year return uh, is available uh, we will uh, what we will do is uh, so this is a web page and this web page in uh, is a html page so we will try to import this html page so i'm copying this url over here and i and i would be using import html formula so what it does is it imports data from a table or list within an html page so here the url is this and query uh, so i want to query the table uh, from this url and then uh, i have to give the index means table number so uh, finding a uh, index is uh, mostly a trial and error thing or you can do a right click and then go to inspect and try to gauge uh, in which uh, table uh, your uh, data lies here i know this is in table number 2 so i'm typing table number 2 then i am closing this so here we have around 150 funds uh, uh, for which we have category name as scheme name crisil rank asset under management one week 6 uh, month uh, year till date and uh, this data is uh, automated as well uh, so you can use this to filter uh, or a screen your uh, mutual fund schemes and make a investment uh, decision but definitely this is not exhaustive this is only 150 as uh, unlike amfi Uh, website which had been uh, exhaustive where we had around 16000 uh, schemes uh, nav available but here we have historical returns available uh, so you might want to use this uh, well guys uh, i am making a series of videos for financial market uh, participants uh, which is uses of google sheets for financial uh, market participants uh, so uh, you may want to check uh, those videos uh, in this playlist which is popping on the screen uh, so see you there uh, and that's all for this video guys thank you bye